This instructional video is designed to show the relative equivalence of equations of state with the ideal gas law. And this highlights the fact that in the limit of no molecular interactions and point masses instead of particles that actually occupy space, all these things are the same. So here we have the ideal gas law. And if we consider the Van der Waals equation, where we have the appropriate modification on pressure and the corresponding one for volume, this is equal to RT. It's important to note that as the force goes to zero, so will the Van der Waals A, and that as particle size goes to zero, so will the Van der Waals B. And so if we borrow language from the calculus, we can recognize that as A goes to zero, this term becomes just P. And as B goes to zero, this term becomes just the molar volume. And so we're right back to PV equals RT. We can do the same thing for our other equations of state, where it's a little more involved. plus beta plus beta minus beta so this becomes the modified pressure modified volume and so by the same token as alpha the factor that corresponds to force goes to zero this will revert to P beta the one that corresponds to particle size goes to zero this will become molar volume so again, we have P times molar volume equals RT. And finally, our third equation of state, where we're using an identical idea, but a slightly different modification, plus P. So there's our pressure modification, and we incorporate volume here. So that same argument about limits. As A, which corresponds to force, goes to zero, this entire term disappears and we're back to regular pressure. As B goes to zero, we're back to our regular molar volume. And so in every case, as the force between particles, that interaction goes to zero, and as the size of the particles goes to zero, we revert back to the ideal gas law. And so these extensions allow us the ability to have equations of state for real gas particles.